greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Today we're going to talk about the love of God. Um, people feel as though when you are not always super kind and super sweet and so on and so forth that you do not have the heart of God. But when you're talking about the heart of God, you're speaking about a living being who has a will and his heart is filled with his will. So our heart is not to be filled with our own will and our own desires. Amen. And so you find an example of this in Revelation chapter 15, beginning at the first verse, and it reads, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. So we're talking about God having wrath, anger. He's pissed off and he's had enough. Because people like me like to do what we want to do. And he said, okay, slay them. And so we see in verse 2, he says, And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Whose works? God's works. Because we're talking about the wrath of God. And they said, Great is marvelous. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. So that's Revelation chapter 15, verses 1, 2, and 3. So see, they had the heart of God. Because when God decided to bring wrath, they didn't say, oh, no, 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 have mercy. Have mercy, God. No, don't let this happen. Let there be peace. They didn't say let there be peace. When God said wrath, when God's heart was set on wrath, they said just and true, great and marvelous are thy ways, O Lord. They didn't say pray. When God says peace, then you say, yes, God, peace. Hallelujah, Lord, yes. Let there be peace. And when God says wrath, great and marvelous and just and true are your ways, that's when you have the heart of God. Not when God decides to bring wrath and you decide to say pray. Not when God decides to say have mercy and you decide to say judge them. So again, this is once again having to hopefully encourage and give you some understanding in regards to what the Bible is saying and what it is not saying because you've been taught wrong for so long. And this is why Russia is now invading Ukraine and all of these things are happening because God looked into the future and saw. And so then he put it in this book. He told you right here what was going to happen because he already knew what we, what we was going to do. And he said, so since that's what you're going to do, let me show you what it is I'm going to do. And that's what Vladimir Putin is doing because we have talked and I have been yucky. I have been singing that song. A little less conversation, a little more action. They're about to do a movie about Elvis Presley. A little less conversation and a little more action. So while we talked and we sneak death, diss, and talk trash at the Olympics and try to like bad mouth China in China at the Olympics in very sneaky ways, I watched it and I watched the, the, the journalist and the Chinese woman who was very poised and very gracious, but she had a few very classy jabs. A few very classy jabs that went over their head. She would bring up history. One word, just one sentence, and that's it. And they didn't even know what to say or what to do. But it shut down everything that it is they were trying to talk about. But while we were sneak dissing, Vladimir Putin was relaxed. He went to go visit his friend, the president of China. And as the day that the Olympics were over, he said, okay, now action. God is a God of action. And he told you in Ezekiel 38 what was going to happen. And so we can see through Ezekiel 38 that he's going to take over Europe. And when he comes for Israel, we know that the Lord says, and then Michael the archangel, then he's going to stand up. 